Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie and today I'm going to be reacting to the top 10 worst Black Friday disasters. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that. Anyways, um, so of course, as we all know, Thanksgiving is coming up on Thursday. And what comes after Thanksgiving? Freaking Black Friday. Um, it's kind of weird. Every year I feel like Black Friday begins earlier and earlier. Like, can we at least have time to sit down and eat dinner before it's like, go out and kill everybody for freaking TVs and clothes and shoes and whatever. But anyways, you know, to each its own. So uh, I guess let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> In the midst of the holiday season, of course. Black Friday is known for its outrageous deals and people are willing to do anything to get a piece of the action. Whether yeah, it's skipping yeah. Thanksgiving, pepper spraying customers, or even trampling store employees, Black Friday has become is out here pepper spraying people and trampling people what deadly here That's are crazy. some of the worst black friday disasters now I'm before scared. we begin subscribe to our channel for more holiday content coming soon brawling the night away in 2014 in tustin california a group of women got into a physical brawl at a kohl's after 1 a.m on black friday two of the female victims had cuts on their faces one had to be taken to the hospital while the other didn't need medical attention bitch what were you fighting over like at kohl's like what like what at kohl's is worth like fighting somebody over like, I, I can't already. Like, what is After this? After the fight, police were able to track down and arrest three female suspects who were responsible for the brawl. Why the fight happened was unknown, but given the time of year, it was probably over some discounted product. That is crazy. Balloon Drop in 2006, at the Del Amo Fashion Center in Torrance, California, mm, someone in management fight. thought it would be a great idea to drop over 500 balloons in the middle of the shopping complex. Inside the balloons were gift certificates for stores in the mall. Over 2,000 shoppers Why were present to the that? Black Friday event, and it was a disaster. I would imagine. People were injured, and an elderly woman ended up having to go to the hospital. Drunk driving. Okay, not to be like judgmental or like. <laughs> but like if you're elderly why would you go out shopping on black friday you should just wait until like the day after or wait for cyber monday where it's a little bit safer out there because like clearly the crowds are ruthless <laughs> in 2012 in covington washington a couple was in the process of walking into a walmart on a thursday evening to get a head start on black friday shopping mm -hmm. when disaster struck Literally, a 71 year old man in a US feet was driving drunk and ended up pinning the woman under the car, and the man landed on the hood. Black Friday shoppers waiting in line nearby rushed to help the couple. Oh Given the amount gosh. of people waiting outside the store, the situation could have been like you're already like elderly, so you're already sort of a liability while you're driving and you're drunk. Like, what? Like, I'm just, I'm blown right now. Like, who does stuff like a that? What? Pepper spray attack. At a Los Angeles Walmart in 2011, over 20 people, including children, were pepper sprayed by a woman during the store's Black Friday event. This woman was simply walking through the store and pepper spraying anyone who got in the what? way of the merchandise she wanted. This ended up causing fearful shoppers to get out of the way and the spray hung in the air so almost the whole store was coughing. The woman managed to flee in time before authorities arrived. How? Crushed child. How? Like, how can you in just Boston, do something Ohio, like that? Literally hours after you're sitting at the table being thankful for the things that you have. No, that's, that's beyond yeah, driving. I can't. Old girl That's along crazy. with an elderly female was trampled at a Walmart on Black Friday when the doors opened. The doors had opened early on the evening of Thanksgiving <laughs> and the incident happened around 8 p.m. local time. See, that's According why you shouldn't start Black Friday that early. That's why. Out of control and there were several more trampled as well, but their injuries weren't as severe. Black Friday crash. 
In 2011, a 36-year-old Target employee was driving home after working her overnight Black Friday shift when she fell asleep at the wheel. Her car ended up falling into a canal and she was trapped inside because she couldn't swim. What? The worst part of this story was that a crowd gathered to watch, but no one tried to help. Like, are you serious? Like, why wouldn't you even attempt to help her? Like, you're really going to be a witness to basically murder because you're, like, not even going to try to help her, call for help. Like, what is wrong with people? The woman. Police were called around 7.30 a.m. and they rescued the terrified Well, woman. thank you, Sadly, somebody. Story help repeated Jesus. repeated itself in 2013 when a father crashed his car after shopping all night with his wife and four daughters. The crash ended up killing two of his daughters oh. and injuring a highway patrolman. Ignoring so someone in need. In November 2011, 61-year-old Walter Vance was a Black Friday shopper in West Virginia who collapsed in the store from a heart Aww. condition. Instead of checking on him or even helping him up, shoppers proceeded to step over him, seeming to not even notice there was someone in desperate need on the floor. There happened to be six nurses in the store who eventually stopped and helped him, but Vance ended <gasps> up dying in the That is freaking un unbelievable. Like... How can you even, like, like, for some sales, like, to get a discount on, like, a tea? Like, really? You're gonna, like, totally not have any, like, regard for anybody's life or well-being? You're just gonna step over him? Like, oh, that's normal. You're just passed out on the floor. Like, that's what people do all the time. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? I can't, that's crazy. Like, I would never in a million years. Hospital. Walmart Like, trampling. that is so terrible. In 2008, at a Walmart in Valley Stream, New York, over 2,000 people gathered in anticipation for the 5 a.m. opening. Once the doors were unlocked, people flooded in while pushing and shoving anything that got of in course. the way, including a 34-year-old maintenance worker oh. named Jim Ty Damore. He ended up getting trampled along with four other people, including a pregnant woman. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, like if you're elderly, if you're sick, like if you're pregnant, why would you go shopping? Like, at the peak time of Black Friday, when you know everybody's freaking crazy, clearly, like, why would you do that? Like, you're putting, like, your well-being in jeopardy for some material items. Like, you, like, I, I can't. Like, I can't deal. That's Insane. Police were called like and what? officers were still getting trampled trying to administer CPR. Sadly, Jim Ty Damore died oh from his injuries. God. American like, Eagle how do you murder. die from being trampled? In 2014, in Dallas, Texas, Ashley Harris was an assistant manager for an American oh, Eagle no. Outfitters who was beaten and burned to death in her apartment after she finished her Black Friday shift. She was murdered by two former employees. Who <laughs> like, I, I can't. I can't even deal. What is, like, seriously, like, what? Like, I don't even have words like what is wrong with these people like you're gonna murder somebody oh I'm like I, I don't know I'm just stole her keys and proceeded to make their way to the store so they could steal $50,000 worth of store merchandise 25 year old Carter Cervantes and her boyfriend Let's just 19 year old Clarence David Mallory, which like, <laughs> how are you even gonna cry? Like, you clearly don't care. You really thought this out. Oh, I'm gonna kill my manager tonight, and we're gonna go, we're gonna steal some stuff, and it's gonna be lit. Like, who thinks like that? Who thinks of stuff like this? Like, what? And then you're gonna sit up there and cry. Like, now you want to feel bad? Like, that's crazy. All for some materialistic thing, some clothes. 
that aren't gonna fit you in like a couple years? Like what? Capital murder. Toys R Us shooting. Crazy. On Black Friday in 2008 at a Toys R Us in Palm Desert, California, witnesses said they saw two women getting into a shouting match and then started physically fighting. Each woman had a man with them and they both got out their guns and started shooting at each other, eventually killing each other at the checkout area. I mean, the saddest no offense, part of this story is that. that both sets of couples had their kids with them and the kids pretty much watched their fathers die. Do you go Black Friday shopping? <laughs> like, you just, you know, I don't know. I mean, of course, you have the right to bear arms, but you're gonna like decide that Black Friday, oh, and Toys R Us, oh, and Toys R Us of all places, where there's tons of kids everywhere. Your kids are present. Oh okay, yeah, we're just gonna have a shootout because you know that's what people do. Like, ah, uh, you know, <laughs> shootout and like what? is wrong with people is what I've learned from this video but I mean okay I don't know that's crazy makes me not want to go Black Friday shopping like I've been like I've seen the crowds but I've never seen anything that OD but nonetheless um, you know happy holidays if you are going Black Friday shopping clearly be careful don't be one of these crazy people be vigilant, care about other people, don't trample anybody, don't leave somebody sitting on the ground dying, like, just, just, you know, just don't. But anyways, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.